What's going on guys? Welcome back. Thanks for watching. Today we are going to do another cheap versus expensive comparison video for you guys. We haven't done one of these in a while and I love making these videos because no matter how much money you have, it is always better to spend less and get an equal product. It usually doesn't work that way, but sometimes you do find a gym. So the guns we have are the Benelli M4 12 gauge shotgun. We just did a video on this. It is an awesome gun, very expensive, rightfully so in my opinion. And the gun we're comparing it to is the much cheaper $400 Panzer Benelli M4. I don't know what it's actually called, but it does say M4 right there on the receiver, just like the Benelli. Either way, it's one of the many Benelli M4 clones out there, and this is about one-fifth the price of the Benelli. And from what I've heard, the Panzer is one of the better M4 clones out there. So I want to try them both and see if there is enough of a performance difference between these two guns to warrant the 5X price difference. We'll go ahead and start with the real Benelli M4. We discussed everything about this gun in last week's video. If you haven't seen that one, definitely go check it out. It's about a $2,000 shotgun, give or take. Uh, widely considered to be as good as any semi-auto out there. Great reputation, combat proven, the list goes on. It's a Benelli M4. Enough said. Yes, just as good as I remember it. And our much cheaper $400 clone. There has got to be more Benelli M4 clones than any other gun out there. This one is from Panzer, and from what I hear, this is one of the better fake Benelli M4s. A lot of them are atrocious. I've never shot one of these, but I've heard good things, so let's try it. Before I even shoot this thing, I will say it feels good. Uh, similar weight to the Benelli, and it feels solid, so let's see if it works. That actually feels very good. I will say I do not like the buttstock on this one nearly as much as the Benelli. It's a lot harder to get a cheek weld. This one also has the five round magazine tube where the Benelli has seven. But other than that, it feels pretty much identical. It feels good. <laughs> Better than I thought it would. So the recoil impulse is what surprised me the most. Obviously the Benelli is known for the patented Argo gas system. And I'm not sure if the Panzer just uses the exact same thing, but they do feel a lot more similar than I thought they would. Let's shoot the Benelli one more time. Yeah, there's really no difference. All right, guys, we got to take a quick break to help pay for some of the ammo we shot this week and thank today's sponsor, Shields. This is a website that I use all the time, guys. If you haven't checked them out yet, you definitely should. And you all know, I really only take sponsorships from companies that I like. And Shields is one of the few websites I literally go to weekly, if not more. 2A stuff, freedom seeds, workout equipment, outdoor gear, hunting, camping, clothing, the list goes on. Shields is basically a one-stop shop for everything that interests me. They've got all the premium brands like Loophole, Vortex, Sitka, Mystery Ranch, and more. So you can be confident with every purchase and knowing that you are getting the highest quality gear. And if you happen to find the same product for a lower price elsewhere, Shields will match that price, no questions asked. So go check them out and use our link in the description box below to tell them we sent you. And again, thank you to Shields for supporting the channel and sponsoring today's video. So in the last video, we gave the Benelli M4 what I called the ultimate reliability test where in the same magazine tube we shot a low brass birdshot, a full power double op buckshot, a slug, a low recoil double op buckshot, and then ended with another low brass birdshot just to see if it could actually cycle all different kinds of ammo. And of course, it passed with flying colors. So now let's do the exact same test with the $400 Panzer and see how this one does. 
First round is a birdshot target load. Double up buck. Slug. Low recoil buckshot. <laughs> and a birdshot. Cycled them perfectly. <laughs> and I gotta say, the recoil does feel about every bit as good as it does in the Benelli. It's obviously hard to say if it's exactly the same, but man, for 400 bucks, it feels pretty dang good. Huh. Well, it's not very often that we have two 12 gauge semi-automatic shotguns in the same video. So you guessed it, we have got to dual wield these puppies. I've never tried nothing like this before, so. <laughs> Wish me luck, boys. That was awesome. <laughs> Alright guys, now that we've shot both of these guns, let's go ahead and talk about them a little bit. In the last video, I did go into more detail on the Benelli, so if you want to see that, go check out that video. But first of all, as far as shooting the guns, there is pretty much no difference. If I was blindfolded and shot both of these shotguns, I would not be able to tell you which one was which. So just the way they feel when you're shooting them is pretty much identical. They've also both been 100% reliable with every type of ammo, which I actually did not expect with the Panzer. Usually when I shoot cheap semi-auto shotguns, they eventually malfunction at least once or twice. Not the case with this one. It has been perfectly reliable with every type of ammo and I've shot it quite a bit, so. Another thing that really surprised me is all of the parts, every single one of them are interchangeable between these two guns. So that is how accurately Panzer copied the Benelli M4. That being said, it does not mean that the parts have the same quality. So just because you could take the bolt out of this one and put it in that one doesn't mean they're built to the same spec, same steel, etc. And I only say that because for there to be that big of a price difference, I have to assume there were corners cut somewhere. I would like to think if you put 100,000 rounds through both of these guns, the Benelli would last longer than the Panzer. But I could be wrong, I don't know. I haven't done the test. <laughs> and one thing I have to touch on, as good as the Panzer is and as much as it has surprised me, it does not have and it will never have the reputation that the Benelli M4 has. You just cannot make up for that many years of military experience, combat, torture, just the reputation that the Benelli M4 has. It is one of the most proven semi-auto shotguns on the planet. So I obviously cannot sit here and say that a Panzer would be as reliable or dependable as the world's most proven semi-auto shotgun, a Benelli M4. But for a fraction of the price, 400 bucks to be exact, I do think that this is a pretty good gun. And if you don't wanna spend two grand on a shotgun, then I would recommend this for your Benelli M4 knockoff at least in this sample size of one. Well, pumpkin season is here, which makes me happy. Let's see if a 12 gauge shotgun can carve a couple pumpkins and a watermelon and a 12 pack. Not bad. All right guys, that's gonna conclude our video on the Benelli M4 versus the $400 clone. After shooting both of these guns, I'm actually more impressed with the knockoff. <laughs> the fact that they managed to put out such a seemingly reliable gun for a fraction of the price is pretty impressive. That being said, if you can afford it, 
I would obviously say the Benelli is still the better choice, but that is strictly off of reputation. The Panzer performed every bit as well in this video and for 400 bucks, I would absolutely recommend it. Obviously I cannot speak to the longevity of the Panzer and this is just a sample size of one, whereas the Benelli M4 we know is one of the most proven semi-auto shotguns on the planet. But assuming the parts hold up, I think it would be more than adequate enough for most people. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, I'd be glad to hear from you guys. If you like the video, please hit the like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.